What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montiverse. We are here to check out the first official teaser for The Penguin. <laughs> the spinoff of Matt Reeves' The Batman. One of my favorite movies ever. My potentially favorite Batman movie. It's neck and neck with Mask of the Phantasm. But, Nikki, are you ready to check this out? I'm ready. The Batman, I personally think, is one of, if not the best movie of 2022. So I'm excited to see what else there is from that universe. It was my favorite of 2022, but... Enough talk about the Batman, because it's Penguin time. Ooh. Starting the trailer for the Penguin right now. When I was a kid, there was a gangster. Real old school type. Well, it's got them. Rex There's a lot of gangsters. <laughs> oh, okay. Big deal. Rex Calabrese. He's from he the comic, the newer character. He saw you on the street, he call out to you. When I'm 14 or something, he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. A freaking parade. Is that an indication of a character you know? It wasn't fancy. No. But it was a gesture. To show love. What he meant. That's supposed to be Sophia Falcone, the girl. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? No. That's crazy because this guy, Colin Farrell, is so absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. in this role. Yeah. He disappears into the role of Oswald Cos Cobblepot, mm -hmm. uh, the Penguin. And I just love Matt Reeves' Gotham. Yes. I think more so, I think for the first time in a very long time, Matt Reeves' Gotham is full of personality mm -hmm. in and of itself. Yes. It, uh, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, you could definitely see that in the Batman, and that easily was carried over with this teaser. Yeah, we see a kind of rundown version of the Iceberg Lounge. We know. We know things in Gotham are... There's a, a vacuum for power in Gotham where we left it after the Batman. We have the murder of Carmine Falcone. We have the Riddler flooding the city, very much like Zero Year in the Batman comic books. Mm -hmm. And now we kind of have who's going to take the Roman's place in Gotham. And I think that's what the Penguin's vying for. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, were you going to say something? No, I'm just curious if there was anything else you picked up on. Yes, I want to talk a little bit about Rex the Lion Calabrese. Mm -hmm. He's a character in the comics, a very new character. He was introduced... In Batman Eternal, part of the New 52, and he's tied into the Penguin's origin there. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a character that essentially took Oswald under his wing and kind of showed him the ropes in a way, more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, he was called the Lion because he was the one responsible for taming the police in Gotham and really putting them on the take and, and scaring them. And he had this philosophy that eventually uh, uh, an alpha lion comes and he takes control but eventually a younger lion will rise up and seize power and seize control of the pride from that older lion. And that's kind of how he got that nickname. And in the comic book case, that was Carmine Falcone, who the Penguin then set his sights on murdering and stealing his power. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have a similar situation going on here. We have the char this character of Rex Calabrese that the Penguin mentions. And now the Penguin is trying to establish himself after the death of Carmine Falcone. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's that's very intense. <laughs> very, very much intense. It's very, it feels like a surreal version of The Sopranos in a lot of ways. <laughs> uh, the, I'm talking about the show itself, besides mm -hmm. the storyline. I think the show itself very much has a Soprano-esque feel to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very grounded. The character, I can't remember the actress's name, the one who plays the mother. So, so I was gonna say, literally Tracy, the mother from How I Met, How your, I met mother. your Mother. And I know she's been in a lot of stuff. I'm blanking I, too. I'm <laughs> blanking on her name right now. I know her name. I'm just blanking on it at the moment. Uh, she is playing Sophia Falcone. I believe that's what, who she was cast as, mm -hmm. who is the daughter of Carmine Falcone. And in the comics, she is uh, a character called the Hangman. 
from Batman Dark Victory. So uh, I'm curious to see. I don't think they're going to adapt that storyline. Matt Reeves has a really fantastic way because he's a fan. He is a yeah. Batman comic book fan because I've listened to interviews with him. I've listened to him speak on Batman and the comics, and he knows the source material. Mm -hmm. But the reason why he's so fantastic and the Batman is so fantastic is because he's really good at adapting material. <laughs> He's really good at taking things from the comics, understanding them, understanding why they're important, and shaping them and reconfiguring them to fit in a live action movie cinematic storytelling format. Mm -hmm. And that's what has me excited because there are things that I know, mm -hmm. but there's a lot that I will be surprised about. Yeah, and I think that that encapsulates the Batman super well yes. because even though we've had basically a dozen Batman movies at this point, the Batman still, I think, really solidified its own identity, its tone, its personality. And the fact that Matt Reeves is actually back for the show, because I feel like I said, this teaser already shows very similar vibes, but knowing that he can still take things in different yes. directions, we're exploring a different character, just makes everything more layered and hopefully even retroactively makes the Batman even a more interesting universe. 100%. I, I love Matt Reeves' Gotham. Mm -hmm. The Batman is so interesting because like you said, it is a unique movie and has its own unique tone, but it borrows from like six different Batman stories. So that's, that's what I mean. Like he's <laughs> really good at picking and choosing mm -hmm. the things he likes from the lore and respecting it. Yeah. He respects the lore without being a slave to the adaptation process. Well, that's just a testament to his talent and also just his creativity and Absolutely. writing abilities that you have a multitude of stories to adapt and, but you still have the freedom of, hey, I don't have to copy it page by page, word for word, and make something unique while still having a true Batman pro property. It's so impressive because Batman is quite possibly one of, if not the most popular fictional characters of all time. And to draw interest on a Penguin spinoff series, <laughs> just because you're that talented and you're that good, and this character was so well-liked and well-received in that movie... Is my hat's off to Matt Reeves and Colin Farrell. I'm so excited to see what they do here. And the only thing question I have left is, are we going to get Battinson? Whoa! If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to check out our other videos, click the link on the page. And until next time, guys, stay versed.